I think the coolest thing, yeah, you didn't have huge carpentry experience before this. Mm -hmm. You're just a guy that figures out how to get stuff done. There's a lot of money in wasted lumber. And get it done the right <laughs> way, too. Yeah, it's like, this is, this is impressive, man. I love this. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> ready to go whenever you are. <laughs> so yeah, it was a 1999 uh, Econoline van that was a one owner handicap van. And I, I bought a, a 2019 that was wrecked from the rear and I did the front end swap, you know, a generation upgrade in the front. So it looks newer. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't too bad. It was a couple days of work, custom brackets and whatnot. Nothing too fancy. I had to cut out the fenders. Uh, to squeeze 32s, um, no rubbing. Yeah, no, this thing cruises around. It's impressively smooth on the dirt roads. And yeah, it's stuff. got the KYB Monomax front rear, and then I did the uh, the tow mirror upgrade for towing. Uh, also makes it look a little beefier, which there was a lot of modifications in the doors uh, to fit those mirrors. They're actually off of a Super Duty. Uh, rigid 30 inch up front. That's literally all I need. It lights up everything. That thing is insanely bright. There's actually a lot of custom work done here. So these are, sh are seats out of a Chevy Express van. Uh, and the front passenger has the swivel mount. You just pull this lever and then you can flip it completely backwards. Yeah, usable little uh, seat there for your humble home. Pull her forward there and get the curtain out of the way. Those curtains were kind of a temporary thing, but... So yeah, you can sit in the front seat, hang out, work. Eventually, there'll probably be a table on a swivel mount, so you can have actually a table here to eat, work. You know, this opens. Videos. This really opens it up too. Oh yeah. yeah. The beauty yeah. of the van is you can actually hang out. Like, if this armrest is up, somebody can sit here sideways. Somebody can sit here. Two people can sit where you're sitting. Uh, you can sit where I'm by, sitting. Side by side. Yeah. I've had you know four to six people in this van hanging out. Yeah. No, it's sweet, and I actually really like you can sit on the bed, and, like, my head is, like, I still got room to, to chill and sit nicely. It's a good height. Like, so the, it's a handicap van, van yeah. so you've got a little bit higher doors than usual, right? Correct. So it came with a factory mid-top. It was originally converted by Adventure West as a handicap van, and I bought it from a family that, you know, I think I bought it with 28,000 miles on it. I just hit 35, so everything's pretty much new. Um... But they had these, you know, the, the wheelchair lift sat here and it came down. So it, they did the uh, the door modification to where mm -hmm. they actually weld it on. It's kind of hard to tell now that I've painted it and did the body work. But there's a weld right here where they actually added the section to the door. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> which is nice because when you walk in, you don't have to crouch down too much. You know, you can just kind of step right in. You can't fully stand in it, but I mean... It doesn't make much of a difference to me. I'm in here to sleep or to cook. Steps be and leveled the... off. Yeah. But so, this was a no-brainer. Uh, advice from you was spot on. Yeah. Oven, which I've used many times. It's absolutely amazing. It's got a two-burner stove, um, which is also super powerful. You know, I can boil water in 10 minutes, 12 minutes. We got some toasty bagels. Oh, Cut into this can of salmon. Caught by your buddy, right? Up in Alaska. Oh, with some jalapeno sockeye salmon? Yes, sir. And we're gonna whip in this guy of cream cheese in there. And make a nice spread for some bagels. Wow. Would you just look at it? Oh, it looks like a face. Dude, totally looks like a guy like, oh, <laughs> delicious. Yeah. All the cabinets, everything in here was handmade by me. Uh, I've never done like woodwork and I invested some money in, in a table saw and some woodwork and tools and came up with this. You know, you got solid butcher block countertops, which was huge for me. You know, usually people run the Formica or, you know, something inexpensive and yes it does add a little bit of weight uh but it's totally worth it if you ever have an issue with your counters you can sand it down and refinish it whatever finish you want so yeah. it's got a sixteen thousand btu heater uh which is the same heater they put in like 30 foot travel trailers you know mm -hmm. so it's super efficient 
it's not done like I mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, and a little bit the, of trim. I do have the thermostat yeah. wired temporarily on a long wire, so I can actually put this in my bed. Eventually, this will be framed off. You're not going to see any of this stuff. These blinds will be replaced. No, I love your I love your style though of just wanting to get out and get it done, get get some adventures, some trips in before the van's totally done. And that's my that's what I'm doing in the Jeep right now, and that's why we're hanging out. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so it's I'm like I'm not gonna sit in the 115 degree weather anymore. <laughs> no, and this is like almost done, but yeah, it's just such a good I don't know, good thing I've learned in the in the past, and so yeah. I'm just glad to see you're out using it, and and the plants over here, those things yep. uh, they stay put. When you're gotta, driving, huh? You gotta bring a piece of, of Arizona with me wherever I go, right? I got some fake cactus. So I don't have to water them. They're on Velcro, which is convenient because it always looks like you decorated. Yeah. No matter if you're on the freeway. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And this one, too. This whole plant. Yep. Good stuff. It's got a Rivati sink in it. Uh, that was an investment, but it was worth it. I think it adds to the, Ooh, the cleanliness oh. of it. You know, it's got a nice little faucet that you can actually completely rotate and use for outside Ooh. if need be <laughs> ah! dude you that. can take a shower wait you've got two showers uh, technically um, I do. but here you've got your fridge freezer which kind of slides out which is kind of nice having it separate um than the whole rig yeah and it's it's hidden you know right now the compressor's on because I, I had the fridge open for a little bit but when you slide it back you don't hear anything, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it cuts down the noise. Uh, I got my cutlery, cutlery drawer here. Uh, forks, knives, seasonings, foil. This is my snack drawer, or dry food storage. I got my cups, my plates, which works out really great. Pancake mix ready to go. Yes, sir. I'm excited, I got some too. And I wanted a big compartment to fit bigger things. So I made this one door. And oh, cool. You know, I got my mini bar set up. I've got a bunch of rounds of 12 gauge that I put off my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly, by the way, much appreciated. <laughs> Dove season just opened up. So um, I got Lynx level levelers back there. It doubles as my dirty laundry hamper. Um, and then here, it's gonna be hard to see from your angle, but trash can, fire extinguisher, chemicals for my cassette toilet. And then I have my gray tank back there. Eventually, it's going to be ran out the bottom of the van as well, uh, so I can, you know, use uh, eco-friendly soaps and let it run out versus, you know, hanging on to the water for days at a time. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the Thetford. That's my favorite cassette toilet, too. Mm -hmm. I'll put some links for this stuff below, too. The Camp Chef oven. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I love that. Technically, not for that. Um, not advised for indoor use. Uh, if your question is advised. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's super sweet. I've seen these in a lot of van builds, and I mean, having it inside is is awesome for sure. Can lights were an Amazon special. Everybody runs them in their van builds. Now I know why they're freaking amazing. They all these lights on together draw eleven watts. I want to say mm -hmm. ten, eleven watts. So you could basically run them all day, and the solar panel keeps up as well as the fridge, <coughs> as well as everything else in the van. Yeah, and it's it's powered off the Blue Eddy AC one hundred. Yep. Um, and that's pretty cool uh, to be using a power station, not having, um, you know, super complex solar system if anything goes wrong. But at the same time, you have everything you need, lithium battery. I've never, I've run fridges and stuff, but I've never run a full van, lights, all this stuff mm -hmm. off a of power station. And that's been going pretty good, it's right? It's extremely effective. Yeah. I spent uh, a little over a week in the Northwest and it was cloudy for probably five days straight. Four days fully partly cloudy and then or fully cloudy and then one day partly cloudy yeah. and everything was running great i was running the heater every night uh obviously the lights i wasn't you know being frugal with the lights they were staying on quite a bit and no problem i mean it gets down to like two bars battery life and by the time the morning kicks on you know it's fully charged by yeah. one or two p.m i like these curtains too that's nice i mean it's a must have to block the shade out for sure yeah and so you're yeah not done you have to have the bottoms hemmed I yeah. just quickly cut them with a razor blade before my trip, and my mom, thanks mom, is going <laughs> for me when I get home. Nice, dude. But it's got the, just two simple green rigid rock lights to kind of fit the theme of the, you know, the green van. Green paint, green lights. Big shout out to Rigid Industries for sponsoring 
lights. It's so cool from the outside. And they're just like shining everywhere, man. That's a great shot. Looks yeah. like night vision. Right? That's this was part of the factory conversion. Uh, it had a matching one on the rear, which I removed. Um, I still have to paint this white to kind of add to the look of the van. And then up here is going to be shelving all the way across. In the very back will be uh, two cabinets so you can actually store your clothes and all your extra pillows or bedding or whatever it may be. Here we got the Illumines ladder so you can get up there and clean the solar panel if, if need be, which has been super convenient, you know. I'll notice I'm pulling a little less solar, go up there, squeegee the panel, and you pull 20, 30 more watts. It's a big difference. It's super yeah. light. You can pick it up with your pinky. It's all aluminum. That's why I bought it. Yeah. Because you know, weight is obviously an issue. And I think I'm about 200, under, 200 pounds under GVWR with all my gear and everything in there. So it's right there on the money. Nice. This is all That's... Raptor liner. Uh, I don't know. Did you put my Jeep on your channel? Um, Jeep I built I three Jeeps ago. Don't know, but the truck we've had videos of the the, the four duty, yeah yep, the Super yep. Duty where it was white Raptor lined yep. and the Starcraft camper and that's where a lot of our most fun videos were mm -hmm. when Wally was fixing my truck and King of Hammers. Yep, breaking that was, down. That was, that was a lot of fun. That was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, you've got really good at spraying this stuff. It's just so durable, and yeah, the feel of it is insane. So scraping your rig through trails and stuff is no big deal. And you got the shower on the back. Like... Yeah, so this is from Tough Stuff Overland. Uh, it unzips and two arms fold out, and then you open your bifold doors. Oh, look at those. And then it ends up being a tent room that comes out up, about up to here. A simple gas land, hot water on demand system. Once again, door panel's not done. This is mounted temporary. It's not finished yet. Um, it's got a shower head on it. It'll give you like 160 degree water in less than two seconds. It's almost too much. I run it on the lowest level. Um, I've got all my gear in here, so it's hard to see, but I've got the uh, quick connect gas line here. You just plug and play. You know, I got a hose that just runs right to that. And there's actually a water spigot right here nice. that connects your water and it runs off the water pump in the van. Of course, the propane locker being on the interior, it's all fully sealed. Uh, it's got a airtight latch with aircraft grade uh, gaskets around it. Oh, nice. And your propane tank sits right in here. It's actually vented through the bottom of the van because liquid propane weighs more than air. Uh, so if there's ever a leak, it's going to leak out of the van. You're not going to blow up. And there's only one connection point in the entire van, and it's by the stove over there. It's a T connector, and right in front of it, I'll show you guys shortly, is the LP gas detector. Nice. So if there's ever a leak, it, I mean, it's I went overboard. <laughs> one of your fans in my in my driveway popped in. He said, oh "Hey, Wally." And I turned around and I was like, "Who's this guy?" <laughs> That's so funny. And he explained that he's a Down to Bob fan, and I said, "Okay, it all came together." But he was a really really cool dude. You yeah. Know, just caught me off guard. <laughs> no, totally. And it catches me off guard sometimes, too. I saw a bunch of fans in Ure here, and it's been really cool. Um, but, yeah, it's something to get. I'm still getting used to. So, sorry. Sorry, Wally. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you brought it on yourself with building the cool van, too. Because, yeah, there's so. there's people. Yeah, people <laughs> are digging it. I'm excited to see what you build next. And uh, I'm excited to see what you build, too. <laughs> um, drop a comment. Let us know what you think of the van. The algorithm, do the stuff, the like button, that stuff always helps. The real <laughs> thing, though, and the question is, are you down to mob a, a van or something around, <laughs> around the world? <laughs> Woo!